The best smartphone at CES 2015 has finally arrived in my studio. It's the LG G Flex 2, and similar to the LG G Flex, it too has a curved display. So let's go ahead and unbox this guy and see what's inside. Hey, what is that phone dags? Bo HD here, and this is the LG G Flex 2. As you know, it's not available in the US just yet, so it actually is the Korean model, which I have in front of me here, sent to me from the friendly people at valuebasket.com. If you have some extra cash lying around and are dying to get your hands on this device early like I was, you can purchase it from them at a very competitive price. I'll leave a link to the G Flex 2 listing on their site down below in the description bar if you want to check it out. But as you can see, the LG G Flex 2 box is printed in landscape mode, and the top portion is cut away to resemble the curve of the G Flex 2, which is pretty neat. There's also some minor spec info on the back of the box, but all you have to really do to get inside this box is cut off the two pieces of tape on either side of the device and slide off the top cover. And once we do that, we will find the LG G Flex 2 sitting right on top. I definitely can notice the curve as I take it out of the box for the first time, but I'm going to put it off to the side for a moment and take a look at what lies underneath, because underneath we do have some nice LG earphones included here, which uh, do have remote control functionality, and they do have extra included earbuds to fit all different types of ears. So that is most definitely nice to see included. Besides that, we have a standard micro USB charging cable used to charge the LG G Flex 2, and then we have the accompanied wall wart, which obviously, as you can see, is not made for the US, but thankfully Value Basket sent me an adapter, which can be used to power this thing no matter where you are. So if you're in the US and do plan on purchasing the LG G Flex 2 from Korea, you might want to pick up one of these as well. Now let's take a look at the LG G Flex 2, the star of the show. There is one sheet of plastic on the front of the device that we will need to remove, and then some other plastic casings on various parts of the device. But uh, based off first impressions, it really does feel great in the hands. It actually is the perfect size in my opinion. If we take a look around the device, we'll find that there is nothing on the left hand side, nor is there anything on the right hand side. We have an IR blaster located at the top of the device and a 3.5mm headphone jack and a micro USB charging port located down below at the bottom. The front of the G Flex 2 is home to a 2.1 megapixel front facing camera sensor along with some ambient light sensors. There's a 5.5 inch curved POLED display with a 1080p resolution and software navigation buttons. On the back, there is a 13 megapixel camera sensor with optical image stabilization and dual LED flash as well. And there's also the laser autofocus sensor that we first saw with the LG G3. We also have the volume up and down buttons and a power sleep on off button on the rear as well. And the speaker port is on the back. The back cover itself is made of plastic, but it has a self healing coating on it that, uh, like the name implies, heals small scratches and scuffs by itself. Now I used this device at CES 2015 in Vegas and the back covers were super slimy and gross with everyone using them, but uh, this one doesn't feel as bad as that because it's so brand new and clean, but uh, it is far from feeling good to the hands as it's not made from premium materials. You can however remove the back cover and pop in a micro SD card slot and SIM card slot back here as well, which is always nice. If we power it on and set it up, first of all, the display looks really amazing. Now it's not a QHD display, it is only a 1080p display, but honestly, I could not tell the difference. What I noticed more than the pixel density was the color vibrancy of the POLED display technology. It really does look fantastic. And I surprisingly loved the curved display itself. When I slide down the notification panel, it feels unusually pleasant and there's just less resistance in general than a traditional flat display since I'm sliding my finger downwards in a bowl shape, gravity is on my side. The G Flex 2 is also running Android 5.0 Lollipop out of the box, Android 5.0.1 to be exact, and it works wonders with the Snapdragon 810 octa-core processor paired with 3GB of RAM. This is the first device I've really played around with that has the new Snapdragon 810 processor, and based off first impressions, it really does work wonders. I'll definitely be testing out the speed of this device more once I have more time to use it and uh, get to know the device. But that is my unboxing and first look at the LG G Flex 2. What do you guys think of this device? Do you guys like the curve? Do you think it's a gimmick? 
do you think it has enough to take on the Galaxy S6 and the HTC One M9? Let me know what you're thinking by leaving me a comment down below. But as always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.